two. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Uh, it is May 25th. This is Off the Rails. You know, today's obviously not going to be a, a normal episode because we're going to talk about um, what happened in Texas yesterday. And... Um, it's, it's, you know, I was, I was so disturbed when I learned about it. I mean, I think the fact that I have two young children now, it hits me harder than it ever did before. This kind of stuff happens all the time, right? I mean, it happened, how long ago was Sandy Hook now? Four, like 10 years? A decade, yeah. Happened 10 years ago, about the same amount of kids who were slaughtered by a psycho in an elementary school. Uh, what was it, 19 then? 19, yes. And so this time it's 19 as well? Oh, oh, then, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember how many was in Sandy Hook. It's a similar number, actually. 26 people were killed. Oh, 26, 20 of the victims wow. were children. And, you know, there's like, there was a shooting just recently that was like racially motivated that was so depressing. But to go in and to specifically go to hurt children, I mean, is there anything more evil? It's just so disturbing. Uh, you know, children are so innocent and pure and just undeserving of, of. It really is like, I think the only pure evil thing that happens in the world in a vacuum is just harming children in any way. It, you know. <sighs> yeah, so 19 kids were, and two, or I guess it was, how many teachers died? Two teachers and then two officers? Or, because I know there was like 19, uh, 19 children were killed and two adults Um, and when you see the pictures of these kids, man, it's like, phew, dude, you know, barely older than my, than my oldest son, who's three years old. And they're just so sweet and innocent at that age. I mean, yeah, so it's, it was just so disturbing, man, and. You're desensitized to it because in America that happens all the time, you know. There's like a chart. <laughs> What's happening, AB? Okay. It's hard to talk. Everything okay back there? Okay. We're good now. Sorry. Um. You know, this stuff happens all the time, and we do get desensitized, but man, there's no shock to the system, like 19 children being slaughtered. Um, it's crazy, too, how, like, it's so obvious that something needs to be done right. I mean, like, it's so painfully obvious that we, as a country, have pitifully... Uh, uh, fail to protect our children. I mean, school shootings at this point is like a national pastime. It's basically baseball at this point, you know? Baseball, apple pie, and school shootings. That's what America's all about. I mean, love, you're, you're, you live in Europe. I mean, what does it, what's, what's your reaction when it's like, oh yeah, this shit happens like every fucking, just basically, like hun literally hundreds of times a year school shootings yeah i mean there there's no other country in the world where or not literally but most countries near me this doesn't happen once like in a lifetime and uh, it's so weird how america the greatest country in the world has these major issues it's like mind-blowing how how it's like a part of daily life there well when i was a kid think about it when i was a kid 
we didn't worry about security guards and having guns on school and stuff. You know, these days, if you go to a if you go to a public school or private school, I mean, Theodore's private school, there's like a sh shitload of armed guards. Look at this. Isn't this great? Um, school shootings by country. This is just this year. No, no, no. no. It says 2022. I think it just means it's up to date. Check this out. 288 in the United States. Uh, the second one is eight in Mexico. Most European countries are, you know, one. Where's Sweden on here? Is any there? Just because love's here? I don't see Sweden on the board at all. Yeah, I don't recall having a shooting. We've had attacks, I guess, where things have happened, but never a shooting from my experience. There you go. It says American is apple pie, folks. And it's so painfully obvious to everyone that not, something needs to be done, you know. And yet nothing does, right? There's already like spin on on like you know Fox News on Twitter, all the usual suspects. My favorite is that the sh the shooter had like a Hispanic last name, so of course all the. Uh, or people start speculating, oh, he's an illegal alien. This is an immigration issue. Can you fucking believe that shit? Evil. It's actually evil to spin it like that. I mean, I think they're going to hell. I actually do. Um, yeah. And Everyone's saying that I was wrong. That is just 2022. Yo, no way. That's what I thought because I remember name. hearing there's been pull that up again. That's I remember seeing something like there's been hundreds thus just year. That can't, is that really the world we're living in? Pull that up. A school shooting used to make the news. That used to be big news. Now that's like every day this year, or more than every day. That's like two a day. Two a day? Can you pull that back up, please? How far into the year are we? It's May 25, not that far. Are you fucking kidding me? 288 just this year? That, that can't be right. I think chat's just wrong. It's I saw that stat, man. It might be right, dude. They're all spamming that that's from 2022, but that's, no, that I'm, can't be true. I'm seeing a report from NPR. Um, that back a few days ago, 213 mass shootings in America this year. That's mass shootings, not in school specifically, though. Right, right. Okay, mass shootings, fine. Yeah, NPR a few Wait, days ago, it's 27 school shootings so far in 2022. 27. Yeah. So that's... Yeah. So, so let's just go with 27 then. It's May, okay? 27 divided by 5. That's five and a half school shootings a month. And you don't hear about them. That's what's crazy, dude. I mean, you hear about them when they're really horrific like this. Five and a half school shootings per month, bro. And so you go to public schools and they have like armed guards, metal detectors. Our fucking schools are turning into a Refu are turning into like demilitarized zones. And so, of course, on the right, the solution is we need more guns. Teachers who are who teachers need more guns, which, of course, again, you're you're just going to hell if you think that. I'm sorry. If you think the answer is arming teachers, you're just going to you're going to hell when you die. I don't care how much you love Jesus. He's going to fucking send your ass to hell. You really think that, huh? The answer is more guns. Well, nothing's working, right? It's because we keep putting more guns in schools. We're trying to... Whatever we're doing now is clearly not working, right? Okay? It's been 10 years since someone massacred children in a place where they should feel safe. Nothing's actually it's gotten worse. I think probably school. I think shootings has gone up like a hundred percent since then. 
So, not, so what we're doing isn't working, right? Which I think what we're doing currently is nothing to making it worse, adding more guns to the school. I, I just love the idea of a teacher who's already like underappreciated, has to get a degree in education and take care of a bunch of kids, now has to fucking get trained. Now they got to go, go do boot camp. And get they they need to become warriors, to ready to to uh, to uh, draw their pistols, um, and you know these kids are always armored to their teeth, right? Again, AR AR fifteen body armor. This kid who did it has, so maybe we should just give teachers like bazookas, bro. I mean, we need we need they need adequate weaponry, right? Like, what's the best defense against an AR-15 and body armor? Maybe they need, like, a tactical head vision, uh, night vision. You know? Maybe some kind of, like, uh, definitely some kind of rocket launcher would be good for the teachers to have, I think. F flamethrower, perhaps? That'd be, that's a good way to stand your ground. I think we should arm teachers with flamethrowers. That sounds like a that sounds like the answer to this, right? Does anyone um, maybe you know what could work? Um, tactical nuke, actually. Take them all out. Blow up the whole school. Let God sort them out, right? That's what the NRA says. The NRA has put out a statement: teachers must have tactical nukes to deal Perhaps. with this. And so that's that's actually a really good idea from them. Maybe, oh, you know what we should give teachers? Maybe just some, like, uh, uh, not, what do you call those knuckle weapons? Uh, brass knuckles. Brass. They need brass knuckles just in case it goes to hand to hand. Or perhaps a bayonet for if it goes to hand to hand combat. They should definitely have a knife on their, on their, on their belt at all times for, for armed to combat, right? Maybe landmines in the mm -hmm. hallway. They can trip them. Proximity bombs. Do you guys, what do you guys think? Landmines could work? Yeah, I think... Um, I think those are all really good ideas that NRA is put, putting forward there. Yeah, but nothing's working, right? Um... Didn't Schumer put out a statement saying no gun laws coming? What was that? I saw AOC tweet about that. Schumer, and you know, my thing now after this is, um, I think I got to go single issue. I think gun, gun reform is going to be a single issue for me. It's the only thing that matters. I'm solely voting based on gun reform. Because that's really the only way, like, we will never move conservatives on this issue. Like, it happened where 26 children got slaughtered Sandy Hook 10 years ago. It happened now. They're already spinning it. We will never move conservatives, right? It's, it's sad but true. The only way to do it is to vote. And, you know, the Democrats are no better. They just fucking, in, uh, in Texas, right, was it, where the Democrats backed... Was it in Texas, that fucking guy, Democrat who's anti-abortion, pro-gun? Yes, uh, Henry Quaylar, I believe is his name. Yeah, the Democratic Party campaigned for a pro-life, I shouldn't say pro-life, I should call them like fucking forced birth. I should call him like a forced birth candidate, you know what I mean? He's forced birth and pro-gun, and the Democrats just pushed him through heavily supported him to be a progressive and he lo he won by like a hundred votes too it was fucking disgusting vile yeah um you guys should see how much money these republicans take from the nra man people like ted cruz have taken like mil literally like three over three million dollars from the nra you basically just work for them at that point if someone gives you three million bucks you work for them So nothing's changing. Nothing's gonna change. So 
we just got to vote, man. People need to care about elections. I know a lot of stuff is bullshit, right, in elections, but a lot of stuff isn't bullshit. This one's not bullshit. Because we have five and a half shootings per month, school shootings per month. Five and a half school shootings per month in America. There's never been one in Sweden. That's crazy, right? And it's always the AR-15, pretty much. This dude was using one. I don't know what's with the gun people, man. They're like cultists, you know. I was talking about it on Twitter. And a lot of the stuff I'm seeing in response is people like... Um, it's going, he wants to ban all guns, dude. It's never going to happen. We have a constitution. Um, gun reform doesn't mean banning all guns, dude. Just shut the fuck up. You know that. Just You're in a cult, man. Snap the fuck out of it. There's a cult, there's a gu cult of guns in this country. You know? Straight up. They'll love Jesus, too, somehow. We love Jesus and guns. Ooh! And, you know, all the usual talking points are proven bullshit in this fight, or in this shooting, because they go, all you need is a guy with a gun. A good guy with a gun stops a bad guy with a gun. So the gunman crashed into the school. The police were called and showed up. He took, He shot two of them. Okay, so the good guys with guns showed up, right? Two of them. He shot them both. More police arrived. Guess what the police did? Guess what the good guys with guns did? Go ahead, play the Jeopardy music. Guess what the good guys with guns did, guys? Yep. They just sat outside. They retreated. And let him have free reign over the uh, elementary school. And they sat outside and listened as gunshots went off for 30 to 40 minutes. As he slaughtered 19 children. And all the good guys with guns outside who complain about how dangerous their job is. The cops, those poor police. They just sat and listened to the gunshots ring out for 30 to 40 minutes. As a... Uh, Absolute fucking hell on earth um, happened right before their eyes. You know? Am I not justified in thinking how pathetic the police are for that? I mean, I'm serious. They want to be heroes. They want to talk about how dangerous their job is. They had the opportunity to save children and they sat outside and listened as fucking shots rang out, shot after shot after shot in a fucking elementary school. And they waited for backup for 30 to 40 minutes. How fucking sick is that? And it's scary, man. It's scary, you know? I, I'm not a brave person, but I'm not a cop either, right? So... I'm just saying, you, we, we, they, they want to be treated as heroes and with reverence and fucking respect. And uh, they put their, they're just, they're so, they put their lives on the line. Where were they? Uh, where were they? You know? But that, that that there goes your good guy with the gun theory. There was there was there was a shitload of good guys with guns there, and how and how able were they to stop this? Um, how did they do? How did the good guys with the guns do? I'll tell you how they did. Nineteen kids died. Two two adults. So, so much for that, huh? Now, if only they had, you know, 
more armory. They could they could have stopped him. I'm sure. I'm sure they could have done something if they just had more more a higher budget. For sure, would have would have saved those kids for the police, of course. RoboCop, perhaps, could have saved those kids. Maybe now we need talking. to invest. Now we're talking. In, uh privatized robotic cyborgs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what maybe we, Elon can help out with that. Because obviously, the the obviously the the solution isn't to restrict a uh, gun a gun reform, right? That's not an option. So maybe some kind of lasers in schools. Position throughout the hallways that can just evaporate some uh, evaporate people. Lasers would be a good idea. I wonder if we're investing in that. What's the NRA stance on lasers in in uh, schools? Interesting. So there you guys have it. Good guys with guns. And by the way, this is a the, the shooter was an eighteen year old kid. Versus a trained military force, okay? He took out two cops, an 18-year-old kid. He bought his weapon, or he, he was, yeah, he was 18. He bought his weapons when he was 18, okay? He hasn't even had the weapons that long. You know, thwarted an entire police force. That's incredible. That's incredible, my guys. Isn't that nuts? Is that cr absolutely unbelievable? He thwarted a whole police force for 30 to 40 minutes. Damn. I, good guys with guns, man. Where were they? Yeah, so this kid who's responsible. Obviously extremely unwell. And, you know, dealing with this issue, it's it's not one thing, right? Like, Something this terrible doesn't happen regularly unless there's a multitude of fucking problems, of which there are. The two main ones, of course, is health care. This, this dude was very fucking sick in the head. And if we had a more, you know, it's impossible to say, you know, but if we had a more comprehensive, free, caring, if we had an empathetic health care system, where there was an easy way for people like this to get treated. I think that would cut down on these things happening, probably even more than gun reform. I'll be honest. And conservatives say that too, right? They say that, and then nothing happens. They go, this is a mental health issue, not a gun issue. We say, okay, let's fucking do something about that then. Nothing happens. There's people on Twitter, conservatives, just being like, that's just the way it is, dude. It's our constitutional right, man. That's just the way it is, brother. Some kids got to die for my right to bear arms, brother. That's just the cost of doing business. Woo-hoo. Did you see the... Uh, Go ahead. The Onion today? No, show me. So they regularly post... The same article anytime there's a mass shooting. No way pr to prevent this. It says only nation where this regularly happens. And if you haven't noticed, it's literally every article. <laughs> Good for them. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Yeah, it's so true, actually. You're going to see people saying that, too. It's, 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 I mean, it's actually just fucking incredible. Yeah, they're out there saying that. There's no way to prevent this, man. I'm sure there's some good conservative takes you can probably pull. I have a lot for uh, tomorrow on Leftovers, because I'm assuming... Throw up this, some choice ones for me. This discussion will spill over into tomorrow. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um... Let me open the leftovers doc real quick. By the way, here's AOC. Uh, Ted Cruz, who's fucking going to hell for sure. Um, Heidi and I are fervently lifting up in prayer. They're praying extra hard today, guys. Other days, we don't pray as hard. Today's a big prayer day. 
hold on to that for a sec, but yeah. Today's a big, big prayer day in the Cruz family. Uh, they are praying fervently for the children and families. Thank you to heroic law enforcement. Are you sure? Heroic law enforcement? Are you talking about the guys that sat outside for 34 minutes listening to shots ring out in an elementary school as 19 children were methodically executed? Are you thanking that heroic law enforcement? Okay. Got it. Uh, AOC says, aren't you slated to headline a speaking gig for the NRA in three days in Houston, no less? Yeah, you can do more than pray. Fucking hell, man. Um, this is just, I wanted to show you guys kind of the conservative takes going out in the world right now. We'll talk more about this tomorrow, but here's Charlie Kirk. Pay, uh, pay close attention to how quickly the media shifts their message from potential white supremacy to gun control after learning. The, when did anybody, that literally didn't even happen. Well, and this, this really should be taken as a twofer, and I apologize because it's Twitter, it's reverse chronological order. Oh, okay, this let me read it the first tweet. Yeah. If you are attempting to politicize the senseless murder of 14 innocent children right now, you should probably stop. Pray for the families. Pay close to, yeah, so, I mean, how about you just shut the fuck up and go to hell? How about that? It's incredible. This, nobody buys that shit anymore. Uh, don't, please, don't, don't politicize this. Shut the, how about you fucking go to hell, bro? That's such the, that's like the most laughable fucking take ever. How dare you want to do something to fix the situation that just happened? We need, you know, we need to pray super hard, man. So if they are clearly not praying hard enough, because this shit keeps happening. In fact, five and a half times a month. Why is the prayer not working, you guys? They're praying. I mean, Ted Cruz is praying super fucking hard right now, fervently. How do you, you know what I'm saying? Usually Ted Cruz is like this. But that day he was like this. <laughs> Bro, you're in the fucking Congress, dude. You don't have to pray super hard. You can actually do shit. Isn't that crazy? Praying is for people who are powerless. You're actually in Congress, dude. Isn't that nuts how that works? So you can actually do something about it? You fucking spineless creep. You're going to hell too. Ted Cruz is going to hell. Charlie Kirk is going to hell, actually. Um, straight up. Incredible, huh? I mean, it's possible. I mean, I'm, listen, I'm going to be open-minded about this, but is it possible that enough people didn't pray hard enough and that's why this happened? Is it possible that not enough prayer from the last one? You tell me, you godless heathen. I don't know. It's possible. Maybe people just didn't pray hard enough. How hard have you prayed, Ethan? Dude, I haven't prayed at all, actually. And that's what I'm saying. Maybe this is part my fault. Maybe this it's is big part of you to admit that. Maybe this is partially my fault for yep. not praying. Hard. Big of you to admit that. You know. Yeah, shout out to the heroes. I love that. Why are police always heroes? Why are the police always fucking heroes? You don't even know, bro. They're ca in this case, they're absolute cowards that enabled. Th they could have stopped this. Isn't that crazy? They could have stopped this. They met him before he even went into in the school. Those men are not heroes. Um, they're actually fucking disgusting cowards. Jesus. Do you see what Zach just sent? The Trump post? Yeah. America needs real solutions and real leadership in this moment, not politicians and partisanship. That's why I will keep my longtime commitment to speak in Texas at the NRA convention and deliver an important address to America. In the meantime, we all continue to pray. Pray hard, baby. 
So, okay, great. That makes sense. <laughs> That's a perfect plan of action. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Uh. Um, let's continue. So, oh, you know what's the best part about this, guys? Is that the parents, right, of the 19 slain children are now going to be harassed by people uh, the ilk of Alex Jones who are going to say that this is a false flag operation. You can bet on it. The parents who just lost their children were just torn from them violently, horrifically, the most painful way you can imagine losing a child. My God, they died in horror. Okay? Are now going to be fucking harassed by the ilk of Alex Jones. Guaranteed it. They're going to be called crisis actors. And they're going to be called fakes. And that's a special nod to Joe Rogan, who, by the way, is not only constantly promoting Alex Jones, but when recently someone called him out for his affiliation with Alex Jones, Dan St uh, D Doug Stanhope, maybe you could pull that clip up. He called him out like, "Why are you like? Are you really hanging out with Alex Jones?" And he goes, "Dude, Alex is legit. He's right about a lot of stuff." As he's being sued by the families of Sandy Hook for fucking saying they're lying about their kids dying, guys, this is not a joke. How can you casually just partake in that? Yeah, well, you can bet these parents are going to be harassed. It's going to fucking happen. It might already be happening. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> oh, yeah. Good find, Dan. Here it is. Check this out. Doug Stanhope questions Joe on his uh, relationship with Alex Jones. Here. Do you know the fastest growing cable news network? No, I don't. Tell me what is it. I'll give you a hint. Adblock doesn't it's work news on this Nation. website. News Nation? No way! We are telling stories that matter to watch you our, your Watch family. our episode get People taken down for having a baked in ad now. now. <laughs> Maybe you. mute the audio. Yeah. Though. Thank you. Yeah. Yo! No way! News Nation! Fuck yeah, dude. I've literally never heard of that in my life. Me neither. <laughs> I know. News Nation? The last thing we need now is more news. <laughs> I just, you know what I mean? The landscape is a little bare. I, I, I don't agree. Yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, there's not nearly enough news outlets. I think we have there. a fucking enough news outlets. Okay, here's Doug Stanhope questioning Al, uh, Joe Rogan on his relationship with Alex Jones. Jones started in Austin. We were more popular than him, and he did this cable access thing. Yeah. And then that guy, Charlie, is like, yeah, he's just being a cartoon. He's trying to sell tickets. And then he bought his own bullshit. Well, he's right about enough things <laughs> that it's very confusing. You know, Alex Jones was right about spaghetti Epstein. Spaghetti against the wall. No, 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 no. One no. of those strips no, he, of spaghetti. He's absolutely is right. right. No, 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 that's no. exactly it's, right. He didn't invent any of these. These are all conspiracies that are floating around in the ether before he ever uttered them. Mm -hmm. So. No, he's right about more than spaghetti against the that's wall. That's why we know about Operation Northwoods. I'll no, give him no, that. no, no, no. I knew anyway, that's about it. But you know what's crazy is that Joe Rogan, I would say, is definitely partially responsible for the parents who are now going to be harassed by uh, the ilk of Alex Jones. Do uh, you think Alex will be dumb enough to? No, no, not do this he again? won't now. No, but but many people will. Many people will. Alex is, he's about to lose literally everything in these Sandy Hook lawsuits, which God bless, you know, God bless. But I don't think Alex Jones is even going to open his fucking mouth about this. He hasn't talked about Sandy Hook in years because since the lawsuits, I'd be shocked if he does. Maybe he doesn't give a fuck. Maybe he has nothing left to lose. But yeah, fuck you, Joe Rogan, you fucking piece of shit. You know, it's nice having Alex Jones on because you get lots of views. He's a lightning rod. How, I mean, his views with Alex have tens of millions of views. But weigh that against children fucking dying and their parents being harassed. Dude. Actually, an update on all of that I'm seeing from just yesterday. Um... 
Sandy Hook family's uh, defamation uh, damages trial against Alex Jones to move forward. A federal judge cleared the way for Sandy Hook families to have the defamation lawsuit they won against Alex Jones released from bankruptcy protection, right? Because he declared bankruptcy to essentially, you know, try and get out of owing them anything. And apparently they are saying, nope. Dude, it's going to be so good to watch him lose everything to these families. I'm so, so happy to see it. They're go it's going to go to a jury trial and they're going to decide how much he owes. Even Keemstar's got the right take. Isn't that amazing? Something has to be done, Keemstar says. Ban all guns or put armed guards in every school. Okay, well, <laughs> we're halfway there. Every time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> You got to kind of you got to kind of pick a lane, dude. You got to pick a lane. Are the we... solution is either less guns or more guns. Well, this is the same guy. That... But right now we're at a really just bad level of guns. We need to either pump those gun numbers way up or down. You know what we need is a federal army of troops that are going to be stationed in every school. That's basically what we need. We need like a school army. The child protection army. That sounds nice. That has a nice ring to it. Are we fucking over? Is America over? Might be. Once you're talking about the National Children's Defense Against Shooter Funds, I think the country's over. Well, if we can't fix this, I think the country's over. Just straight up. Like, if we can't address this now, I think it's over, guys. I think it's time to wrap up the ex American experiment. The chat's suggesting just why not arm the kids? Right. Well, that, the kids shooter was 18, and he was a good shot, clearly, with the police. He encountered the police. So the kid, I mean, well, here, let me show you something that's kind of relevant. Uh, so the shooter bought his weapons online from a, web, from a uh, gun manufacturer called Daniel's Defense. Allegedly, we should say. This is still kind of being sucked out. Oh, no. Out. But it seems... They removed good. the picture. Do you guys have a screenshot? I did. I backed it up because I had a feeling they were going to delete that. One second. No, Dan... Oh, they deleted their whole Twitter page. Yeah, what a surprise. Or did they just block me because I retweeted it? Oh, <laughs> well, that's possible, too. Wait, they, this Here. is the podcast. Then, yeah, they probably just got off of Twitter. So, no, this... I think it... Okay, so this is the... Allegedly... Now... The shooter's Instagram post, it's been confirmed by a bunch of his classmates that it is his account. So it's been corroborated. So he bought an AR-15 online. God bless the internet, right? Only in America can you buy an AR-15 online. And that's got to be true. That's got to be true. Yeah, so Daniel Defense made it. And they just posted this May, um, gosh, May 16th. Gosh, that was just, shit, nine days ago. A couple weeks ago. ago. Yeah. Love says, only in America you buy an AR, period. Dude, ARs are just rifles. They're just normal rifles. You, you literally don't know anything about guns. <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's, what the, that's what they say. But like, why is it the AR-15s are used in every mass shooting? Dude, it's just a rifle, bro. You don't understand. You clearly don't know anything about guns. Do you even know that AR doesn't stand for assault rifle? I was about to, <laughs> I was just about to cut in and say, do you even know what AR stands for? Yeah. Because if you don't, you you don't get to t uh, have an opinion on this. You don't get to have an opinion on children. Being I know that they keep using the same gun to kill fucking kids. You know, I'll scroll up a little bit, Dan. Yeah, so this is the manufacturer, Daniel Defense, okay? Nine days ago, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. My favorite is the, so the kid's holding, I think that's an AR-15, right? AR-15 type rifle, yes. And he's got a clip with bullets in it next to him. The kid is... Uh, does, it's called a magazine, not a clip. Right, You're sorry. showing your you ass. Clearly have, you clearly have no right to you have, have an You have no opinion. right to have an opinion on children being murdered until you learn all of the nomenclature for rifles, okay? Right. Apologies. I need to go do some homework. But this kid doesn't seem interested in playing with this gun with a loaded magazine on, on the floor. But the dad, you know, being a good Christian dad, he's saying, No! 
You have to fucking learn. You have to shoot this thing. So, um, this is a dope post <laughs> for a gun manufacturer who posted this nine days before a mass shooting that killed uh, 19 children. And they used their weapon. Dope. And so that's why I say these gun people, it's literally a cult. It's fucking a cult. It really is, you know. This post is just mind-bending. I mean, it's so fucking gross. Besides the fact that somebody used their gun to slaughter 19 children nine days, or like, well, eight days later. Even, you know, besides that little fact, it's disgusting. I just love that even in their post, the dad's like, you have to play with this thing, even though you don't want to. You're just a child. Look at the angry finger, right? You ha you will. All right, get it off my screen. Fucking hate it. Incredible stuff, right, guys? Daniel's uh, Daniel's defense. Why they got to do my name like that? Sorry, Daniel. Come on. Bought it online, ladies and gentlemen. Um. Yeah, he bought this thing online for eighteen hundred bucks, two thousand after a tax. Apparently, he worked part time at Wendy's to save up and uh, buy that on his eighteenth birthday. Um, I'm not gonna say his name, by the way. This guy can go to fucking hell. And be forgotten. Anyone that says shooter's name, what is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Are people really saying that on the news and shit? Like, have we not learned? Like, every psycho, like, every, uh, you know, professional psychiatrist who uh, studies this, the one thing they always say is don't say the fucking name because they crave that attention and it just inspires more people to do the same. Don't say their fucking name don't deify these people. Um, and they still do it. Stop. How people still say the fucking name. What is wrong with you? This guy, sh this guy's fucking, you know, he's dust, bro. He's dust. He's meaningless. His life is meaningless. His existence is his existence is fucking gone, dude. There'll be no legacy for him. You understand? Don't say his fucking name, man. Jesus Christ, how many times do people have to tell you this? It's mind-blowing. Fuck, dude. Fuck. Just say, the gunman, 18-year-old, who will not be named, was killed. Who fucking needs to know his name? It's crazy, man. It's fucking nuts, dude. He started by shooting his grandmother, and then he went to the school. Uh, oh, so this is what happened. The neighbors called 911 after he shot his grandma and reported that he was going to the school. They couldn't have had a better opportunity to stop him, I'll, I'll be honest. There's a whole fucking gang of good guys with guns. He shot his grandma. The neighbors called 911 and said he's going to the school. Where's the good guys with guns, man? It's almost like they could have not even come, and the result would have been the same. Isn't that nuts, man? It's all, of course, the good guys with the guns, dude. I mean, they did stop him eventually. Yeah, 40 minutes later. And ironically, a Border Patrol agent, not a police officer, was the one who that took him down, which is... That is interesting. This guy had time to come from the border. I don't know how close they are to the border. Fairly close. I mean, close enough that there's a border patrol agent. Can you imagine? I have a hard time with this. You're a police officer waiting outside a school, elementary school, listening to shots ring out inside, people screaming, right? And you wait outside for 30 to 40 minutes Shots ring out inside an elementary school. Must have been, 
I mean, to kill 19 people must have been hundreds of rounds. 30 to 40 minutes. Fuck. What cowards. What fucking cowards. Oh my God. So upsetting. Heroes, though. Um, more officers arrived, including a border patrol officer, and then they went in. Oof. This thing, AB just sent his, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know what word I have for it. The school district for Robb Elementary has its own police department with five cops and one security guard. The city of Uvalde's police department received just under 40% of the entire city's budget for the year and got a $500,000 grant from the state. Wow. How, dude, that's like 40% of the entire city budget. You guys got the call. You got the call. You intercepted him at the school. And you waited outside. Well, he killed 19 children. Slaughtered them. You know. Is it really that crazy to, to, to ask for uh, police reform? Do you know how much money we spend on that shit? A social worker going in there trying to talk him down would have a, probably a higher chance of disarming, dar <laughs> of disarming him earlier than the fucking police. Or working with him years in advance so that he never got to such a dark place that he decided that this was something worth doing. Right, that's the healthcare angle. Yeah. Yo, that's staggering, man. The school district, ha so it sounds like there already is a, um, we already have a, a uh, kids uh, uh, military force, five cops and one security guard just for the school district. Forty percent of the entire city's budget, and this shit still happened, man. How fucking crazy! That's mind blowing. Uh, Hassan, since everyone loves talking shit about how dangerous the cops have it, here are some numbers. In 2022, 19 students died in school shootings. 20 cops died in the gunfire. So, it, you know, it's a cop, being a kid at school is just only a close second in terms of being dangerous. It's comparable. Yeah. It's wild. Being a student is as dangerous as being a cop in America. There's no problem, though. There's no problem, right? There's no problem. There's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing. You know? Wish there was something we could do about it. But unfortunately, it's just, you know, Second Amendment. Um, this was a good thing that the, the head coach, Steve Kerr, of the Golden State Warriors, came out to talk about a, a basketball game. And uh, this was his reaction. Oh. What happened with our... I'm not going to talk about basketball. Nothing's uh, happened with our team in the last six hours. We're going to start the same way tonight. Um, any basketball questions uh, don't matter. Um, since we left shoot around, 14 children were killed 400 More miles from here. And a, and a teacher. And in the last 10 days, we've had elderly black people killed in a supermarket. In Buffalo, we've had Asian churchgoers killed in Southern California, and now we have children murdered at school. When are we going to do something? 
I'm tired. I'm I'm so tired of getting up here and offering condolences to to the devastated families that are out there. I'm so tired of the excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm tired of the moments of silence. Enough. There's 50 senators right now who refuse to vote on HR8 which is a background check rule that the House passed a couple of years ago. It's been sitting there for two years. And there's a reason they won't vote on it, to hold on to power. So I ask you, Mitch McConnell, I ask all of you senators who refuse to do anything about the violence and school shootings and supermarket shootings, I ask you, are you going to put your own desire for power ahead of the lives of our children and our elderly and our churchgoers? because that's what it looks like. It's what we do every week. So I'm fed up. I've had enough. We're going to play the game tonight. But I want every person here, every person listening to this, to think about your own child or grandchild or mother or father or sister or brother. How would you feel if this happened to you today? We can't get numb to this. We can't sit here and just read about it and go, well, let's have a moment of silence. Yeah, go Dubs, you know. Come on, Mavs, let's go. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go play a basketball game. And, and 50 senators in Washington are going to hold us hostage. Do you realize that 90% of Americans, regardless of political party, want background check, universal background check? 90% of us, we are being held hostage by 50 senators in Washington who refuse to even put it to a vote despite what we, the American people, want. They won't vote on it because they want to hold on to their own power. It's pathetic. I've had enough. And just to note, another reason why he takes this so personally is because Steve Kerr's father, um, when he was 19, was murdered. He was an educator. He was working overseas, and he was killed by a gunman. Overseas? Yeah. Where? Uh, in Beirut, Lebanon. Hmm. Yeah. That's horrible. Yeah. Uh, so, obviously, I actually, I found his speech not only moving, but interesting in that he mentioned the bill, uh, H, I don't know, it's called, HR8. it's called the Bipartisan Background Checks Act. And it's so funny, you know, to me, because it's called the Bipartisan Bi Backgrounds Check. The legislation would require background checks for gun transfer between private parties. The bill would require people selling guns to one another to use a third-party licensed arm dealer to facilitate the sale so they can process background checks for buyers. This would close a long-standing gun show loophole to purchase guns without a check. Yeah, if you go to a gun show right now, there's no background check. You can fucking buy anything. And so this is what people are up in arms about. We can't even pass common sense gun laws, right? They go, you're trying to take away all guns. And it's like, actually, what we're trying to do is the least fucking possible thing. <laughs> do background checks on people. Gun people need to fucking wake up and get real. We need gun people to come to the table and fucking make con some concessions, or this will never, ever change. I've seen, I've seen quite a few in our chat, people that say that they're gun owners and they're generally pro-gun, but the, you know, that they agree that we're at a point of no return here. I own a gun, I'm a gun owner. I'm, so do I. I'm you know what owner. I mean? It, it doesn't, I'm not against gun ownership. Why, why can't people understand that? It's fucking insane that like it's all or nothing this is the most basic common sense law it passed through the house in 2019 but uh sat they but the republicans refused to bring it uh to a house vote to a senate vote i don't even know how that's possible it just went to a committee and died i mean that's fucking insane it happens all the time it's just like a it's just one of the many ways they use procedural shit to uh, to hold things up. Both sides do it, 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 you know, to their advantage in one way or another. But you should get rid of that. Yeah, if you guys want an idea, 
if you say voting doesn't matter, and get, don't get me wrong, Democrats are fucking coward pieces of shit. What they did in Texas to that uh, that one representative who's pro forced birth and pro guns. Um, let's see, two hundred and nineteen Democrats voted yes. One Democrat voted no. Eight Republicans voted yes. 202 Republicans voted no to the most basic common sense gun law. So, I mean, I don't think it's a a stretch to say that Republicans are the pro-dead children party. Uh, Republicans are the pro-slaughtering kids at school party because they're basically the ones stopping any progress here in terms of gun reform the most basic it's fucking pathetic but i guess in the wake of this happening it just got through they said oh, okay so we'll put it through the senate now right just yesterday so i guess that's a little encouraging is that for sure i just i don't see any i don't see any literature about this bill going through to the senate there, there's been some more talk about it today. I mean, it again, all that means is that it's been advanced in the committee. It'll need to go through committees, and then, you know, the Senate submits their version of it, and then there's reconciliation where they have to make the, the, the House version of the bill and the Senate version of the bill match or coincide with each other, and then it gets a vote, and yada, yada. It, the, it's a whole process, but yeah, the point is, is that the process is now seemingly happening at all, whereas it, it's literally just been stalled out for a long time. I mean, the funny thing is, like, this bill that's, like, taking the murder of 19 children to to even get reviewed is not even close to far enough. Uh, I mean, it's literally just... I don't even know if it would have done anything in this case. No, of course honest. not. But it's a good law. I, I, it actually it does have some effect on online gun sales too. I, I don't know the specifics about this situation enough. Uh, maybe it, maybe it would have uh, had some impact on it. Um, I, I'm not sure. But but the gun, the gun show loophole thing has been around as long as I can remember. And yeah, it, it's just insane. If you in America, if you are a domestic abuser, a violent criminal. You can go to a gun show and buy whatever you want there. You can buy it from another "quote unquote" private party. Um, uh, like, oftentimes, well, like oftentimes Pokemon they're not. Cards. Yeah, and oftentimes it's not actually a private party. It's it's some sort of gun dealer that they use the loophole that you know. Can I ask you a question? Sell it. Are you allowed to swap cars like that? <laughs> no, right? You have to go through the DMV. Get it you, registered. You still have today. to, yes. Change the license plate. Change the registration and everything. That's yeah. crazy. You have to do that with a car? That's nuts. What kind of what kind of fucking impediment to freedom is that? <laughs> You're telling me I can't just swap cars with my buddy? Damn. It's tyranny, dude. Yeah, I mean, I, I do agree that um, what people are proposing in this HR8 thing really is just the... The bare minimum. Bare the bare fucking, fucking minimum. minimum, dude. I mean, treating guns... It's at, literally you know, just common cars. sense. Yeah. It's like, do you think a fucking violent criminal should be able to buy an AR-15 without a background check? Yes! Yes, we do think that. Like, what are you saying? Oh, boy. Abolish the DMV. Fuck it. <laughs> I say abolish the whole damn DMV. I'm behind that. We don't need it. Some people unironically believe that. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> but at least be consistent, you know. So, if you're asking me, I don't think AR-15 should be, I don't think you should be allowed to own that gun. Straight up, I think we need a, a like a serious rifle ban. I mean, this gun is just being used too many times. It's like time and again, every time there's a shooting, it's the AR-15. Okay? It's time to give it up, gun people. You gotta make the concession here. You gotta fucking ban that gun, and you gotta ban all the guns like it for civilian use. Maybe you can get it if you get a special license and you can prove that you have a need for that level of gun, 
but you got to fucking give up the AR-15, you fucking freaks. Because people keep using it to kill kids, okay? You got to give up your goodies. Time to make a concession, all right? Grow the fuck up, dude. Give away your toys, dude. That's number one. Number two, we got to ban these high-volume magazines that have like 100 billion clips. There's no need for that unless you're trying to slaughter people. I don't think you need like a high volume magazine to go hunt a moose. Moose are pretty big, a deer. Or a moose, let's be honest. Uh, you do if you're trying to kill a bunch of people at a school though. That's for sure. And then one of these guys was using a bump stop, stop, which is like a modification where you could turn a normal rifle into an automatic rifle. Uh, ban that. Did they ever get successfully banned that? I think they did, actually. Are you referring to the Las Vegas? Yeah, he was using these that? bump stocks. They actually banned that? I think Trump actually did something about that, believe it or not. Bump. Yeah, but I, I, uh, I can't, don't I can't. get mad at me if I'm wrong about that. that People were actually debating that. It's incredible. They're like, here's a little, here's a little tool you can use on a rifle to make it automatic so you can fucking slay people. Literally the only use for that. And then people are debating. Article I'm from 2019, federal bump stock ban set to go into effect Tuesday as guns rights group appeal regulation of the Supreme Court. Yeah, I'm sure they're trying to fight it, the NRA and everything. We need um, our bump stock. I don't stocks. know what the status is on it right now. I'm fighting for the rights of the Vegas shooter. That's what the NRA is like. I'm fighting for the rights of all school shooters to use bump stocks. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't even have a problem with repealing the Second Amendment. That shit is antiquated, it's fucking old. Go read that shit, man. That shit was obviously written, like, fucking hundreds of years ago. It's talking about a well, a well-regulated, here, Second okay, Amendment. Um, you guys want to actually see what this shit says? I mean, that, not to be defeatist, but that, that isn't happening. That's never happened. I know, I know, I'm just saying. I know that that will never happen. Okay, but here, here's what the, the, the Second Amendment says. A well-regulated militia being necessary to secure, uh, for the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. You know they wrote that about, like, muskets, that you have to fucking put a bullet in and cock and takes, like, you know, 30 seconds to even prepare one round. With gunpowder. 30 seconds would be good, actually. That's very fast. That's fast. Okay. Now, if the Founding Fathers saw an AR-15 uh, slaughter, 19 children, um, I'm, listen, I'm, I obviously don't have a time machine, but let's just say that's a different fucking story. I, I, I'm personally, I don't fucking care about the Second Amendment, you know? I'm pr I think gun ownership is fine. I, again, I have one. You don't need an amendment to guarantee a right. There's not a right to be able to drive a, a fucking car. It, I don't think it needs to be a right. And anyway, it's so open for interpretation the way it's written. A well-regulated militia. Bitch, you ain't no fucking militia. You're, you're fucking Hank who likes to fucking have toys and shoot shit. There's no Where's your militia, bitch? Or I saw the militia that showed up at the school didn't do shit. Called the police. A well regulated militia. Huh? I don't see any well regulated mil militias around here. I don't think we have those. You know what? You know when we used militias? The Revolutionary War, guys. Militias were huge back then. Not so much in 2022. So fuck your Second Amendment, okay? And by the way, it says you can have, you can keep weapons, right? Doesn't say you can't regulate it. So shut the fuck up. You gotta come to the table. Gun, free, gun people gotta come to the table. You gotta be ready to make concessions. Time to give up the toys, guys.
Your to your toys are killing children. Okay, it's time to give it up. Find a new hobby. I don't know what to say. Find a new fucking hobby besides owning AR-15s. There's jet lo there's jet skiing's of fun. What? Jet skiing's really fun. Jet skiing's awesome. It's like way more fun than shooting, to be honest. I've done both jet skiing way cooler than shooting a gun. Get a fun. You know what are fun? Um, um, airsoft guns. You can Those go LARP as a military freak. Paintball. There. Paintball? Right, I'm not even, not to even degrade uh, airsoft guys. Okay, that's a great hobby. It looks fu really fun. Actually, airsoft is fun. Yeah, done that too. Paintball. You can have a gun for self defense. You can own a shotgun, a pistol, even like a hunting rifle. You don't need AR-15. Okay, time to give up the toys. It's got to stop. It really, really has to stop. <sighs> Fuck me, dude. <laughs> so disturbing. Some other suggestions in the chat. Stamp collecting. Stamp uh, collecting is a great hooking. hobby. Knitting. That's a good one. Knitting. Yeah. A lot of agreement with me on the airsoft thing. If you haven't been, in, if you haven't been jet skiing, go go jet ski, people. It's you know, and instead you know, of going gun, and buying a gun. gun ownership is is pretty expensive. So I mean, that opens a lot of yeah, a lot of options for you. Hell yeah, you know, disc golf, golf, soccer, like ultimate frisbee disc golf. Just Google, you know, you just just yeah, just Google uh, how to find a new hobby. Okay. <laughs> 3D printing, bird watching, cross stitching. Hey, none of those hobbies we mentioned is actually responsible for the death of children, I don't think. Well, jet skis can be a little dangerous. I don't want to make a blanket statement like that. Well, know? just be careful on those jet skis. Probably okay. less dangerous than Air 15. So. I don't think you can drive a jet ski into a school and kill dozens of kids. I don't think that's <laughs> Unless happens. the school's on a, on a boat for some reason. So I'm just saying. It's time to grow the fuck up. Reading a book, watching H3. That's a great And retire suggestion. your toys, okay? Grow mm -hmm. the fuck up. Cosplaying, watching porn? Sure. Watching porn, I mean, that's Yoga? Guess, a hobby to some. <laughs> Pottery. <laughs> Stardew Valley? Absolutely. Guys, listen to all these suggestions. Look at all these Pilates. great things you could be doing, except collecting guns. It's time to give it up. Guys, <laughs> new hobby alert. New hobby alert. Blasting Vivaldi. Yeah. There you go. These are Classical all music. incredible hobby suggestions, guys. If you guys want to like, <laughs> help support the families, we've confirmed that this is legit to the best of our ability. Um, there's a GoFundMe, which we'll include in the description for the families, which has already raised $1.6 million. Can you... Or it's in the doc, right? Yeah. Let me drop that in the description right now. And... Um, <laughs> That's, yeah. You know, at this point, this shit happens so much. We need some kind of, like, federal help to these families. Do you know how expensive and how fucked up and just, like, how much fallout and shit you have to deal with? Uh, I think we need an emergency fund for the families of s people who die in school shootings. Okay, I just added it to the description. If people refresh if they're looking for it, it should pop up now. So ultimately, it's like, you know, we can talk about this a million times. I'll put it in the chat, too. And uh, ultimately, what's the answer, right? What's the answer? I think people who own guns need to just have a little bit of, or not, people who are gun advocates, Second Amendment advocates, whatever. We need them to come to the table nothing changes the nra needs to fucking get real okay we got to come to the table you got to make some concessions and i don't know you know people keep voting for ted cruz uh people of texas gotta get real man you gotta stop voting for ted fucking cruz who's taken over three million dollars from the nra i mean it's time to just become a one a, a single issue voter that's it. Single issue voter. Whenever your local shit comes up, your state shit, federal elections, vote in it. Who's the mayor? Who's your senator? Who's your representative? Look at their policy on guns and vote for the one that's in favor of reform. 
one issue. Fucking voting actually matters. It really does. On this issue, it does. On this issue, it does. Uh, lo somebody said local funeral homes in Uvalde. Uvalde? I hope. I, I keep questioning myself that I'm saying it correctly. I think it's Uvalde. Go ahead. Uh, have announced that they will be doing the funerals for free for those uh, who are victims of the shooting. I mean, small. People are great. Small People are lovely. Yeah. You know, when this stuff happens, everyone in the community rallies around them, and everyone is super gracious and super supportive and generous and just, you know, they, when you see it firsthand, when you're there, it, you, people are lovely and caring. But at the large scale, people who don't fucking power hungry fucking freaks like Ted Cruz, uh, they have to get they have to get gone. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of people um, asking us to talk about this thing that happened with. Uh, Beto O'Rourke confronting Greg oh, Abbott. Oh, that today. up. I haven't seen it. Uh, yeah, it, it happened right before we went live. I've been seeing all the buzz about it. Uh, so I'm I not saw a aware clip of what happened yet. But. I saw a clip on Twitter, but I couldn't hear what Beto was saying. So maybe you guys can find a clip that um, somebody in our in our crew chat sent one a short time ago. Oh shit! Yeah, one second. AB's working on it. What can we do? You know, it's it's so fucked up. It keeps happening. You're just so powerless. So powerless. What a joke. All right, here's Beto O'Rourke, who nearly won. Uh, he nearly de-seated Cruz, actually. It was close. It well, was fairly close. I mean, 5% yeah. or something. Yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't like razor. I mean, 5% five, five a lot in the Senate race. Yeah, and I'll be honest, Beto, not my favorite politician, but it's all relative, right? And if in Texas, he's running against Greg, Greg Abbott, the current Greg governor. Greg Abbott. Is the fuck? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I would take Beto. He's a over. demon. Yeah. He's a demon. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. He's a fucking demon. Look at these crusty old fucking all these white fucks. Look at that. Look at the diversity up there. This is what the this is what the governmental body looks like. A bunch of fucking white. They're so white. They're red. Balding ass, fucking waspy fucks. Greg Abbott is a demon, and so is Ted Cruz. It's also disgusting. God, Ted Cruz is such a disgusting, vile person. <laughs> there is one woman. Shout out. I didn't even notice her. She's in the shadows in the back. <laughs> Tuck her back there. Uh, yeah. Sorry, here, let's watch this. Uh, pass the mic to Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. You can crank it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sit down. You're out of you're out of line and an embarrassment. Sit down. I don't play this stuff. I I can't hear what he's saying, but I can I I can, is there one where we can hear what he's saying or this is just what it is? I think this is what it is. Uh, it, he after this. It's probably best for us to just review all of this and and show it tomorrow on leftovers because again it, this happened. Literally 20 minutes well, before we Well, I'll finish the clip. It's short. Um, it's right now, and you're doing nothing. No. You're, you're doing nothing. You should get his ass out of here. This isn't the place to talk to so. This is totally predictable. When you Sir, you're out of line. Anything. Sir, you're out of line. You're out of line, you fucking pig human. <laughs> pig man. God. I am pig man. I love how they go, you're an embarrassment. You're sitting up there doing nothing, you fucking demons. Ah. Sir, you are out of line. Please Shut up. leave this auditorium. Who the fuck is that loser? I can't believe you're a sick son of a bitch that would come to a deal like this to make a political issue. Yeah. <laughs> to make it a political issue? I, I guess. What is this it's, galaxy it, it, brain shit of, like, gun control and, you know, mass murders in this country is not political? What does that even mean? It's just their way of deflecting and demonizing people that actually are making any sense. It's been the same fucking dog call, or it's just their, it's their, you know, it's their one talking point. It's great. You shut down everything. A fan You're evil. What? You're evil for wanting to fucking do something about this. What Watch Beto said die. is, this is on you. You're, and then he said, uh, this was totally predictable. No, he's right about that. Cam sent another link. 
that he said Beto's audio is much clearer on. If I just love how how um I just love how uh indignant they get. Here, here's another You're one. You're out of line, sir. Yeah, exactly. I do declare. I challenge you to a duel. This motherfucker. Literally with a fucking walker. Just just the fucking crypt keeper. Piece of shit. Here. You're out of line, sir. You're doing nothing. You said this was not predictable. Sit down, bitch. This is totally predictable when you choose sir, you're not out of line. Sir, you're out of line. I'm sorry. Oh, that's uh, Uvalde's mayor. Who's yelling at him? Yeah, no. Oh, Sir, you are out of line. I do declare. Well, I'd like to get some. Actually, uh, speaking of out of line, I'd like to know more about your um, city's budget, <laughs> yeah, please, exactly. and how that affected. <laughs> I, let, I'd like to know how much you're playing actually helped prevent this. Yeah, why are you underfunding the police so much with only 40%? You could have done so much more. You could have given 100% <laughs> of the budget to the police, and maybe this thing could have been prevented. That's right. That's the mayor. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Fucking clown party, pig ass looking fuck. Take your high blood pressure medicine and shit the fuck down. <laughs> Looks like Colonel Sanders. Yeah. I'll say, I'll say. He craw- his ass crawled out of a bucket of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you six all up yeah. This is an outrage. Yeah, it's good. He, My yeah, God. that really is good for you, the mayor. Uh, let's not talk about the. Let's not politicize this. Uh, <laughs> let's let's not scrutinize me while we're here. <sighs> It'd be great if we could not scrutinize me. Crawled out of a bucket of chicken. <laughs> This is not the place to do that. I wish Beto went further. I wish he fucking told that guy well, he Apparently he lie. outside then basically all of the media followed him outside <laughs> instead of continuing on. Yeah, what are they going to say anyway? They're not saying anything interesting. Right, exactly. They're basically saying we're praying really hard and we're not going to do anything else. This is on you until you choose to do something different. This will continue to happen. Somebody needs to stand up for the children of this state, or they will continue to be killed, just like they were killed in Uvalde yesterday. Sit down. Sit down, boy. The mayor is fucking two weeks away from getting his legs amputated for <laughs> diabetes. Or for st- How about you go fucking take <laughs> care of yourself and leave the city management to someone else? And cut his legs off and serve it in a bucket. Right. Deep fry him and fucking <laughs> eat him. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> you know, it's crazy because, like... If anyone's playing polit- <laughs> if anyone's playing politics here, it's these fucking guys up on here. It's who- all politics. It's such an insane statement. Everything is politics. No, like, but it, these guys are the ones that are dodging the fucking responsibility, are trying to let everything cool down so people forget about it. All these people accept money from gun people in the NRA, and it's in their vested interest to be like, let's not talk, let's not poli- let's not politicize this. Let's just pray. These are the ones that are fucking being dishonest about the whole thing. Yeah. Greg Abbott and Ted Cruz. These two men are apps are fucking demons, dude. Holy Watch shit. Demon die. Holy shit, dude. <sighs> So yeah, I don't know. There's really no solution, right, guys? We just need to vote. We need gun people to come to the table. And, you know, it's 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 sad, but really the only thing that could be done is people in these very red states 
to, to vote out these people that are obstructing it and because look they're obstructing gun legislation and in, in in favor and service to the nra and gun donors so there's got to be people in those local districts that care about st- about voting them out i mean that's only thing that's going to change i mean give me that give me that give me that ab the mayor appeared on good morning america today and he said the issue is not gun control than mental health okay good we was we good we agree that that's a problem where's the money where is the help they always say this the conservatives always say it's not guns it's mental health Where's the mental health bills? What are we doing about that issue then? If you actually cared. But it's interesting. They don't actually fucking care. They're okay with it. They're okay with it. If they cared, we'd have have better health care. Better access to mental health. How You can't say that because nothing ever fucking happens. Let's take a look at this mayor who's who's quickly turning into the most fucking vile dude I've ever seen. I'm actually just starting to be disgusted with this guy. Let's see. Of Uvalde, we've got Mayor Don McLaughlin. He is... Okay, let's get a load of this fucking pig. Just started his ninth year as mayor of this beautiful community. And and I just first want to ask you, Mayor, we're all reeling, obviously, coming in from the outside, watching what's happening and what's happened, this vicious, heinous act of mass murder to your community. How are you feeling? Well, you know... I'm trying to keep a straight face. My hearts are broken. Around two minutes and fifty seconds. You say my hearts are broken? My heart. I've got a diff. I, <laughs> my pacemaker and my heart are both <laughs> crying right now. I surgically had a swan heart implanted in my chest to assist with <laughs> blood flow. For these families and for these kids. I mean, uh, this shouldn't happen. Uh, um, you know, my prayers and thoughts are with these families. Pray hard you know, bitch. Thank God for the first responders that, that reacted so fast. Thank God, man. <laughs> Those cops are fucking true heroes, huh? <laughs> they really are. You know, those first responders that waited 40 minutes outside as gunshots rang. Ah, uh, that's hero- heroism, man. Yesterday, or this could have been a lot worse. So, uh, look how on could the it have been side. worse? Look on the bright side. How, how could it have been worse? <laughs> Is this 20? More, how, more children could have died. I mean, he was in there for 40 minutes. How much more time does he need to fucking kill? <sighs> God. How could it have been worse? Two victims, 19 students, two teachers, and the shooter. But I mean, as far as any other information, you know, there we were briefed this morning, but we're going to let them release that information because there's a lot of stuff they still don't want out yet. Yeah, the, you know, I know you told me that there's stuff they don't want out, but you said what we will find out is is pretty overwhelming and pretty hard to even put into words. It is. It's going to be. I mean. Uh, Yo, this was a sick individual. Uh, he, he was, he, he was, it's so sad, but it, uh, maybe this young man had mental problems. I don't know. Mayor. I mean, clearly, you don't do that unless you're fucked yeah. up. I like it when they try people, they, they be like, they try him as insane. And they're like, no, he's sane. It's like, no, he's obviously insane based on the act alone. I know that you have heard the cries and, and, and impassioned speeches that have taken place over the last few hours for people calling for some restrictions on gun control. I know you're not an advocate of it, but a lot of people are asking, how did an 18-year-old just a few days or weeks after his 18th birthday not buy one, but eventually two AR-15s, one of which was used in this massacre yesterday, without a gun license? He doesn't even have a driver's license. Why? No gun license. No driver's license. That is fucking interesting, isn't it? Dude, there's no regulation on guns. That's nuts, man. It was only a few years ago that they uh, got rid of uh, the whole... You know what? um, What are they called? They're called, like, partials or something. Um, And in California, which, you know, has relatively strict gun control laws until just... 
I think like two years ago, you could buy a gun on the internet and have it shipped directly to your house with no background check, no anything. The loophole was the gun isn't technically finished. It, it comes only partially constructed and you just have to do like a few more steps to put it together. Um, and there are, technically you're supposed to register it, but obviously people can just buy that and never register it. Um, and it was only, this is in California, only within the last like two years did they finally close that up. I mean, it, like the access to guns cares. in this country it's is like, It's like nobody fucking, it, these gun people can't be inconvenienced even the slightest bit for the safety of children who are being literally killed in schools five and a half times a month, we, we calculated. Five and a half school shootings a month. They can't, be, they, can't, they can't be fucked for just a little bit of regulation. Why is that access, why should that access be available? Well, look, I mean, again, y'all. Go ahead. Go ahead and choke on your words as you say what you're about to say. Everybody has a right to own a gun. I'm not against I'm not against expanded background checks. Okay. I'm not. But everybody comes in and talks about immediately we want to do gun control. We want to yeah. we want to sanction the gun lobbyists. We want to sanction this and we want to sanction that. But you know what? Why don't you politicians get off your butts and let's talk about mental health and let's do something for real once. We fucking asshole. Give millions of dollars to all these countries, and right now we're spending billions down here on the border. What if we took that money and built facilities where we could treat the people in our... Talk about making it political. Do that. I think it's great. Do that. They've never done that. Let's do both things. How about that? Let's do both of those things. Our own country. We got homeless people on the streets that have mental problems. We have kids that have mental problems, especially coming out of the pandemic. And everybody touts their horn and wants to beat their drum, but nobody wants to address the core problem. You know how mental people, they buy guns without a license online. Okay. Let's do both. Genius. Project, pro problem. And that's no By the way, he's talking to his party. He goes, y'all don't want to do anything about mental health. It's like you're talking to Republicans. Did I hear you say, though, you wouldn't be or you would be open to restrictions of some sort? I, I don't. I, I'm not. I mean, as far as restrictions, no, I'm not going to say I'd be in favor of restrictions. What about having a license, a gun license? You know, uh, he won't even say that. That will be something that'll have to be. I don't, I'm not going to. You see what a coward he is? Even in the wake of, of, this is why nothing, this is why I don't think anything's going to change. Because this mayor is such a fucking coward that even in the wake of this terrible thing happening on his watch, he's not even willing to go out and say, yes, I think we need some common sense reforms. He won't even say that. Because he's afraid of, you know, people voting him out, right? Because, you know, people are, people are crazy about guns there. Uh, what a coward, you know? What a coward. How do you sleep at night, you demon? You're going to hell, bro. Yo, I, to Look me, at I, I'm a responsible gun owner. So, I, I mean, you want to make me have a license? Fine. I don't, I don't have anything to hide. But look. I can't believe you don't even need a license there. I mean, you don't need a license? You don't need a license? I mean, What? The, the, a license isn't going to change this. A license wouldn't have changed this. If, if, if a, a bad guy wants to get a know? gun, he's going to get a gun. It's proven over and over. Hey, I love that too. It's just so dismissive. They're going to get a gun. I mean, what can we do about it? And it's been proven over and over, he says. Yeah, five times when? a month. When has that been proven? What could we do about it, Mike? They're going to get guns. I mean, you could buy them online. You can buy them from gun shows. You can get them from your friends. It's like, should we do something about that? Hell no! Over again, look at Chicago. I mean, they get guns all over. You can't even buy a gun in the city of Chicago, but yet they have shootings every weekend. So, I mean, bad guys can get guns. You want to do an expansion? Oh, I mean, right, because they can just leave Chicago and get a gun. <laughs> I was just going to say, it's easy to get guns when you can go to a fucking <laughs> place like Texas where you don't even need a license. Yeah. I mean, we do live in one country. I mean, California too. has a 
strict gun control laws, but you can drive to Nevada and Listen to this. get around most of it. In so. Texas, people 21 and older can legally possess a handgun, and they don't need a state-issued license to carry one outside their home or vehicle? In Texas, you can fucking oh, yeah, cruise with a gun without even a license? And there's at least 20 other states yeah. that have some form of uh, permitless carry. At school, we were told when we first got there, I went to school in Ohio, uh, people would always come and protest, like, anti-LGBTQ+, plus. people would come, and we were told that, like, we have to be super careful because Ohio is open carry, so, like, we couldn't be super combative with them because They'll, there's, someone with there's a chance you. that they could shoot us. Fun. Terrifying. That's so disturbing. <sighs> wow. I mean, yeah, how, how, how is there going to be any meaningful change when the mayor uh, is, who is not even willing to make a single concession? I mean, look how he's like, oh, 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 I, I don't know, his gears are tearing because he's like, oh, oh, I don't want to say anything that's going to offend my voters, but, oh, I mean, 19 kids just did get slaughtered. Oh, blah, 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 blah. How about you just go to hell, demon? Hope you fucking die of a heart attack soon. Watch that demon die. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> I hope you eat your last chicken leg soon, you fat fucking diabetic, high pleasure, blood pleasure, big ass fucking hold creep. On, hold, hold fucking on. fried chicken. Got my finger on the tech difficulties button over here. I mean, all of them, man. They're all demons. They're unmoved. They don't care. I mean, these people, they're pathological. These people who, they hold power above any, you know, other humanity. I mean, for them, power is the, en is, is the ends, is the ends. It's, that, it's why they're there. Guys like Ted Cruz, he, he literally doesn't care about these kids dying. He doesn't. He'll do and say anything to preserve his spot. I mean, Donald Trump told him that his dad killed JFK and his wife is an ugly hog. And he fucking, he fillets him any chance he gets. I mean, he's a spineless fucking freak. That's the problem, you know. Most people don't want to do politics. You have to be kind of a sociopath. And uh, especially these conservatives, because they're, I mean, it's just evil what they do. I'll be honest. Forced birth. Pro-gun. Any background check, I'm all for it. I have no problem. How can people watching who want to help help the people in your community? What do you need? Well, this morning we're setting up, uh, we've already talked to the bank and the school district and the city, and we're getting an account set up at the First State Bank of Uvalde where we're going to try to take donations, for monetary donations for these families. We're going to have a, uh, uh, we're going to pick somebody to administer that fund so that 100... Is that the GoFundMe we saw? Oh, anyway. Uh, no. The GoFundMe is being facilitated by a uh, charity. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know what else to say about it, guys, but unfortunately, everyone watching this show is probably relatively like-minded, and it's the Steven Crowders and the Ben Shapiros and the Dave Rubens and the Ted Cruz's and all these people that, you know, pander to the lowest common denominator who are part of this gun cult who take money, directly profit from guns being sold and not regulated. They're the ones that are going to need to make concessions. And I just don't know how realistic that is. Like, you got to come to the table and we got to figure something out. It's got to be both parties. Unless they get rid of the filibuster, and they could do it tomorrow. Because they're not going to do that. That's another thing, man. But well. Although, I don't, it, Manchin's probably super NRA, right? West Virginia. He probably wouldn't vote for it. No, no. I don't, I don't actually know that for sure, but just based off of his other positions, I'm assuming he is a pro-gun rights guy. And, I mean, the only thing that we can hope for is that enough conservatives in these local districts are going to care enough about protecting children to vote for someone that actually does care about it. 
And frankly, I don't see that happening either because, you know, by the time Ted Cruz comes up for re-election, nobody's going to remember this shit. You know why? Because there's five and a half school shootings per month. Okay. Um, I don't know, man. But if we can't fix this, I think the American experiment is over. I mean, everybody wants to fix this because basically what that proves is that big interest is basically trumping the want of the people and even something, and even in the most basic way. I mean, I would say that people who are in favor of uh, gun, gun reform has got to be like over 75% of all citizens, possibly even higher, right? And, and it just proves that we're living in, in a, our, our country no longer works, like in, even in the most minimum way possible. Yep. I mean, if nothing happens, our country as it is now does not work. It has become too dysfunctional to operate. Period. Um, and we're not even talking about banning all guns, right? We're talking about like the most basic, rudimentary, common sense gun reforms. Um, oh, well, according to this, it's only 53% of Americans favor stricter gun laws, so I guess we're fucked. You know what? Maybe we should have let the South secede. Do you ever think that, Dan? Maybe maybe Abraham Lincoln fucked up. <laughs> I think he... Sometimes I wonder if he should have just let him go. Balkanize the U.S., baby. That's my position. Do what? Balkanize the U.S. Balk? Balkanize. Split it up. Oh, split it up. Let it break it up. up into, like, 50 different countries. Oh, my God. That'd be a disaster. Just call it. Just call it a day. This whole thing's fucked. That would be so crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You know, not to add any more like black pilling to already. A very, <laughs> it is a black pill conversation. But, but yeah, when you say, I mean, passing these common sense gun reforms, it probably will help to an extent. Um, but I don't know. It, I think that there's just something undergirding our whole civilization right now that is, that is just really fucking sick and um, that leads people to doing these kind of things and not, not in any way to make an excuse for this kid but it, I think it's I don't know I just think it's a, a culture that's that's obsessed with violence and individuality to an extent of um, making people despair and just feel like they're completely on their own and everyone just has this constant background anxiety that something's wrong and that uh, you know life shouldn't be this shitty and um and it eats away at people and to a lot of people you know when we say like oh we need to address like the mental health i mean it, it, this is what i think is tormenting people to the extent that they get so fucking nihilistic that they go shoot up a bunch of children um and yeah, um, you know, you can attack in a number of ways. You can do the gun, you can you can do both things. You can you can expand mental health care and you can try and restrict guns uh, more so. But um, and and I'm sure that that I mean that will help. I'm not saying that it won't, but I don't know, man. Like I'm just when you you kind of jokingly said, should we just let the South secede? Um, yeah, I don't. I don't even. I don't even think it. Uh, it's a joke to me anymore. And it's not just about seceding. It's just about like this entire American experiment. I don't know. I feel very pessimistic about it. I don't know if this country will exist in another fifty years as we as we know it. I don't see how it can. I mean, it's just so. We just seem to be barreling towards annihilation, uh, and nobody wants to pump the brakes and. Um, well, since the Civil War, there's never been a reconciliation. Not really. Yeah. It's the same fucking conflicts we're having then is, is spilling over now. And...
Yeah, because we never actually addressed any of the core problems going on in this country. And, and insofar, you know, in fact, not only have we not addressed it, we now have a movement in this country that's violently opposed to doing so, that thinks that it is fucked up to teach kids about all the things that are wrong with our society, that that's, that that's anti-American and it's, it's unpatriotic and it's racist or whatever, to, to literally just try and understand. Teach kids about slavery and um, Native American genocide. Yeah. yeah. There are literally like two separate narratives going on in terms of that's what scary. people think that's America fascism. is. That's fascism. I mean, that's the, end, that's, the end, that's the end of a state right there. It's yep. so scary. But like you were saying, you know, I think is like when you don't have universal health care, and it's very true, it's this individualism, like to the point of like, I get mine and fuck everyone else. Yeah. I, don't raise my taxes. I'm not doing nothing. I, no, you know, I'm not paying back, for baby. anyone else's health care. Yep. That's actually people, this the you know what it is? It's the fucking uh, Ann Rand shit where it's like uh, objectivism. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you were responsible for yourself and your family and nothing else past that. And uh, I think you're right. I think people in the fringes who fall through the crack um, end up so nihilistic, right? When all the conditions, it's too much. The thing is, our country, our society is producing these shooters, people like you said, Dan, are so nihilistic, they're willing to go kill kids, go to their school, kill their, their classmates. There's a cancer in this country that's producing these people, and it's a lot of stuff. It's that individualism, it's the health care, it's the culture of violence. We fetishize violence in the army, you know. Big time. Um, and you know, it, it's there was an interesting. I learned about a stat that like eighty percent of school shooters are like women hating. Like uh, have said that they hate women. That's well, very interesting. And I think, can you pull that up? I've saw I saw yeah that floating around. I mean, I I wouldn't be surprised for that to be the case. And um, the thing is though is that. I don't think it's misogyny directly that causes people to do things like that. Or, or, or even, it, again, I, I, I really do think it's something deeper than that. And the thing is, is like those conditions that create that kind of just horrible background anxiety that I'm referring to, um, it leads people to a lot of dark places looking for answers, looking for looking for uh, a scapegoat or looking for someone to blame for why you know they live in the greatest country in the history of the world uh, or so they've been told and yet their life fucking sucks and it's either jews or women or blacks or gays or whatever you know what i mean that people latch on to and a woman is a really easy one and it is a lot of young men that struggle in relationships with women and so it makes sense that that just like clicks in their mind of like, oh, that's that's why my life sucks is because women have advanced in society too much and, you know, they have too much power and they're fucking everything up. And so I'm going to take it out on them. But it's it was never really I mean, in some again, I don't want to blanket generalize too much that some people really do just fucking hate women and that's fine. I think you're right, <laughs> though, that I think the misogyny is just it's not part... Right, it's fine, but... I think the, is the misogyny is just part of the same, like, sickness that produced them. Right. But it is interesting. It says, what do so many mass shooters have in common? A hatred of women. This was a study done. Um, let's see. There was a university that did a study here. Uh... You're going to have to find me an excerpt, uh, AB. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean, listen, it's like this dude worked at Wendy's, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that, but, like, Americans live in debt, and it's fucking working at Wendy's for minimum wage and knowing that your life has, uh, 
you have no prospects in life. You have no education. You're probably in debt. You're working a dead-end job that you hate. And the future is fucking... There's nothing in your future. And that is the... You know... That's, and again, all that's the, the sad while, reality. And, uh, yeah. You realize all of that while the whole time you're being told that you're so lucky to be here. Right. <laughs> that you live in the greatest country in the world. Mm -hmm. And how can it's that just, not create something in your mind that it's like somebody's fucking me over? Like I'm being fucked over. And, you know, if you go to these really impo like, you know, third world countries, you don't see this stuff, even though they don't have the wealth we have. We're missing something key to the healthy human psyche, right? We're missing some funda fundamental needs of a healthy human mind. There's like, there's just, the people are just not getting what they need to be healthy. And that's what's producing um, these people continuously. They're being produced, 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 produced. Um, here's from the article. These men lash out at women, but really women are excused for their failures, says Dr. MD. I'm just looking for the woman that says, like, there's a percentage of guys who, yeah, whatever. I mean, I, I'm sure you're right that it's extremely high. I mean, I is, saw, I saw, I was floating around Twitter where. Specifically mass shooters. 80% uh, of them have, like, posted about, like, hating women or something, right. whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't know, man. So, like, I really do feel like that there's just a, and, you know, there's a huge party that have convinced poor people, the working class people of America, that big business and the fucking individualism, toxic individualism is in their best interest. Uh, it's crazy, man. It's nuts. But yeah, I mean, I, I think you're right, Dan. If, if like, there's a big push to, for unionizations and stuff like that. And, I mean, healthcare has become more accessible since Obamacare, even though the Republicans are trying to gut it. Mm -hmm. um, um, there needs to be some really tangible changes in the next, like, 20 years. Otherwise, I don't see it lasting. Because people not can't, in this form. People can't keep living like this, you yeah. know. Yeah, I mean, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Thank you, Abby. Um, University of California did a comprehensive study of school mass spree shooters of all ages and found that the common link between them all is a vehement hatred of women. 80% had a history of domestic violence. Most killed a female relative, girlfriend, wife immediately prior to the event. That's interesting because that's exactly what happened in this one. Yeah, yesterday. And the Sandy Hook shooting, yeah. he killed his mom. How, how, what? That's just such an odd connection where they kill a woman in their life first. I mean, that's just so odd. 80%? Like, what, what is that? Why are these dudes so fucking angry? God damn. I don't know what it means. But something's got to give. You know? That's crazy, dude. People just need to really fucking grow up and be, they got to make some uncomfortable changes. I mean, we're at a war right now. You know, in World War II, people gave, they sacrificed so much, they gave up so much. We're in a war right now, man. Being a child is as dangerous, being a child in public school is as dangerous as being a cop. That's fucking incredible, man. Damn. Well, I don't know what else to say. I mean, is there anything else to add to this conversation? I don't have anything else to add. Um, you know, 
Thanks for everybody for sticking around. I see that the viewer count is actually really high right now. And I know early on there were some people in the chat that were uh, hoping that this wouldn't be the whole episode. But, you know, it it lasted as long as it needed to because I think, you know, this is, is something that has really upset a lot of people. And, I, you know, Ethan... What the fuck are you talking about? We're talking about... Our country is going to dissolve in 20 years if we don't settle this. And y'all can't sit through one podcast where we talk about I, I, it. I, I, that was all very early on. You have to on fucking care about in, this In their stuff. defense. But yeah. You have to care about this stuff or we're all going to fucking die. <laughs> Potentially. Maybe. In Minecraft. I'm not going to kill them. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. You have to care about this stuff, guys. You have to. You have to. This is everything. You know what part? Um, I was listening to the Daily this morning, and they were they were talking about this, but they also brought up Sandy Hook. The part that that really was striking to me was those Sandy Hook kids would have been in high school now. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Like so that, young. So young. So fucking young. And the same with this this Texas shooting. You know. It just blows my mind. I mean, these kids were barely older than my young, my oldest son, and just the thought of of my my lovely son going through something like that. Um, it doesn't make sense. So I don't know. It's like. Yeah. It's just incredible. If you look at, like, what our politicians care about, even Joe Biden, a Democrat, we have this big country, we do trillions of dollars, we have the big, biggest businesses, and the shit he cares about is just meaningless in the scale of what we're talking about. Like, our country is becoming irreparably divided, and violent, like we gotta work this out. Otherwise, this is all gonna go away. You know, it's all gonna go away. Nothing fucking matters except trying to fix this shit. Uh, it's that important. Because if we can't fix this, then it all goes away. It just there's no there's no more country. I really think that. So, we'll see. But we all got to do the, the most we can, which means voting, which means making sure the people around you vote, which means holding your politicians accountable who are who are not doing anything about this, who are who are basically selling their soul to gun lobbying, you know? I mean, we all have to be activated. We have to vote. We have to care about this stuff. That's the only way anything changes because listen apathy is the uh ultimately this country is going to go to shit because of the apathy too i mean people just don't give a fuck they don't vote they don't give a fuck and uh that's just as much as the problem and in, in a way i get it. it it's hard not to become apathetic because everything feels so overwhelming and unmovable right so i get that i get that impulse but we have to care we have to Yeah, local elections are really important, guys. It's all important. All right. Well, I don't really, I'm not going to talk about anything else. It's just no, there's no, uh, you don't want to transition. There's no way to transition. You don't want to transition from that to, uh, Flaming Hot Cheeto, uh, Mountain Dew taste test? Maybe Seth Green's Bored Ape was missing. Can you believe that? <laughs> what a tragedy. I that story so is very funny. I feel so bad for fair. Seth Green, ladies and gentlemen. To be fair, that story is very funny, but yeah, it's it feels like a an anyway. Thing to anyway, say. sorry to those families, but did you hear what happened to Seth Green? His bored ape got stolen. Feel so bad for him. <laughs> Has anybody reached out to or or heard? how David is handling all of this. You know, I was just thinking the same thing. David Dobrik. Because yeah. he is the victim. He's the, I think David Dobrik is the yeah. real He's the real the victim straw, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> is this... 
prayers yeah, how, up for how David. How is this going to affect him, I wonder? It's tough for David, man. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's really, your mind goes to him at a time like this. All right, that's it. That's the show for today, guys. We'll be back tomorrow morning live. Leftovers with Hassan, 10 a.m. Yeah, I mean, obviously we're going to be talking about this again tomorrow on Leftovers, but something that I thought would make it so we're not just retreading all of the same ground is I've collected a bunch of, and I've Ian, while we've been working, or while we've been doing the show, has been collecting more, has been collecting the absolute most fucking insane takes you've That's ever perfect. seen in your life. That's what I look forward to tomorrow. Um, are you aware of the fact that uh, a fake rumor that started on 4chan that the shooter was a trans person has been picked up by the likes of Candace Owen, and even though they've been corrected, continue to state that this was a uh, deranged trans Candace shooter? Candace Owen said that? Mm -hmm. I saw our boy Gosard. And so did Paul Gosar, so did several Paul other Paul Gosard, who Republican, famously uh, his whole family made a hit video about him. Saying, <laughs> yes. Do not vote for this. We're his family, and we all fucking hate his guts. He yeah. still won, by the way. Still won. How do you so win? yeah, so for leftovers, we we will have a lot of people to. Well, there'll be more less 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 uh, coping and evaluating like there was today. More dunking. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Well, be well, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, guys. Take care. <laughs>